moving to a drier part of the world. As we have been finding out in our series of features on water technology in Israel, the country uses recycled wastewater to irrigate its farmland. Moreover, Israel is a world leader in so-called drip irrigation technology. It works by watering plants from underground using pipes with tiny holes that slowly deliver water drop by drop to the soil around the roots, thus saving water and increasing yield at the same time. Hot, dry, desert, a typical feature of southern Israel. Here, the amount of water that evaporates into the atmosphere is 20 to 40 times more than what falls on the ground. Farmers are totally reliant on irrigation systems. But when it comes to drip irrigation technology, Israel is the best in the world. This is with the little drippers that we have inside uh, the pipe. We use less water, less nutrients, less uh, fertilizers, uh, less energy and less labor to produce higher yields and better yields. Instead of sprinkling the plants with a hose, water drips out of tiny holes in the pipes into the soil around the roots. The hole. Leaves do not absorb water, so nutrients and fertilizer are mixed with the pipe water and delivered directly to the roots. Not a drop is wasted. Compared to more traditional sprinkler systems, yield can increase by 50% and up to 40% more water can be saved. This pipe is placed 60 centimeters beside the row of plants because the roots reach out to one side. The design cuts back on water loss to evaporation and helps stop the pipe being damaged by harvesting tools. Other pipes are buried 30 centimeters underground. Thanks to the clever way they're designed, there's no need to worry about them being clogged with sand. And even on hilly ground, the water is always distributed evenly. Regardless of inlet pressure, whether it's close to the water source, far away, up the hill, down the hill, the flow rate will be exactly the same, very uniform and very accurate. In Israel, farm fields, city parks and roadside trees are all watered by drip irrigation. Moreover, the water in the pipes is recycled and treated household wastewater from all over the country. Water that we use from home, we have a station to clean them and to check them, and then we use it again for agriculture, for fruits, on tree for cotton. As long as the filters are regularly checked, very little maintenance is needed and the system is easy to operate. To encourage farmers to use recycled water, the government sells it at almost three times cheaper the regular price. The combination of drip irrigation and recycled water is helping farmers grow economically valuable crops in the arid desert of southern Israel.